Does your spiritual life as of late feel like it's in this endless free fall? This is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another study in God's Word. Today, our call out goes to Rolf Josted from Birchwood, Wisconsin, who recently signed up for video access on our website. Thanks, Rolf, for supporting our ministry, getting behind our tools and using them with your guys. Today, this is for you. We're going to be in Galatians chapter 5. I'm reading verses 5 through 6. It states, For through the Spirit, by faith, we ourselves eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. Our spiritual journeys can sometimes feel like we're in this free fall, don't they? This is often how faith works, but faith is not like free falling out of a plane without a working parachute attached to our back or jumping off a cliff without a bungee cord securely attached to our swollen ankles. <laughs> the spiritual journey comes with an assurance attached, and his name is the Holy Spirit. Yet here is the problem with the free fall of faith. When we instinctively take a leap of faith for the very first time, we may not completely trust the security of the Holy Spirit. If we don't, we're going to instinctively reach out for something. And this something, whatever it is, usually is something tangible. It's something that we have probably reached for in the past, and we reach for it to create a sense of security in the fall. But all this does is complicate everything. It propels us faster toward the ground. Thus, we end up rejecting our security and salvation through the Holy Spirit. In the free fall of faith, we need to do what Paul recommends in the text here. We need to stop reaching for other things. Rites and rituals are not the right things to reach for in the fall of faith. Did you catch the pun there? <laughs> the right thing is to reach for our security in the Holy Spirit. We've got to trust that the Holy Spirit is going to catch us, that the Holy Spirit cares about us, that he is interceding for us, that he will ensure that the parachute will deploy at precisely the right time because he loves us. And this is what Paul means by faith working through love. I love you guys. Learn to love the Spirit and trust in him. In whatever fall befalls you today, catch the pun there again. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.